Hello from Brooklyn. I am at my brother's apartment still all week. Um, and this is me without showering. So this is what you get when someone wakes up, but that's okay. My goal is to just uh, do this stuff when I'm feeling it. It's all about doing it when uh, it's realistic, when you're gonna do it. Okay, so the three things I'm grateful for today. I am really, really, really grateful for the opportunity to teach tonight at Brooklyn Brainery. I'm really glad that she was able to schedule me in. It was, I think, the last date, so we're doing two classes. I'm, I'm really grateful for that because one, I am gonna get to meet some new people and maybe some old, and um, I don't do it that often, so it's nice when I do. It's a treat and uh, it's just something to remember. So we're doing two classes back to back. Um, something else I'm grateful for. Um, yeah, you know, some days you wake up and you're just stuck. I guess I'm really grateful for my boyfriend, Brandon. I woke up to some funny texts from him, so I'm grateful for that. And lastly, I'm grateful that I'm excited for my mom to come visit next week. And I say I'm grateful for that because sometimes with family, we don't always um, feel gratitude. We sometimes feel burdened, but now I feel my heart that I'm grateful for those times. Three things I'm working on today. I am going to take a look at my old blog and also take a look at the Flower LA website and I want it to be a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more sleek, so I'm gonna uh, do that. A lot of the flower therapy night, since I'm doing all of the social media, I have to kind of keep tabs on that. And as we all know, that's a full-time job. And then, Lastly, I think I am going to work on the table of contents for the next book I want to do. Um, I kind of, after a meditation, had an outline for that really quickly. I mean, I wrote it in probably five minutes what the chapters would be, but uh, it's been a really long, uh, I want to say painful, but you know, when something just doesn't turn out how you expect there's a disappointment. So with the publisher, with the flower chef, it's just been a lot different than what I thought. And so uh, I'm going to have to just kind of, you think you're on a journey or on a path. And sometimes that doesn't happen. You don't know why, but I'm trying to take that and just move forward. And either it's going to bring me to new lessons or it's gonna appear in a way I didn't expect. And so that is having trust in the universe, which can be hard to do, but if you deep down believe that, you know, I'm 32, I'm gonna be 33, I have been okay, even through super hard times, I'm still here and somehow have a roof over my head, um, it's okay. Okay, next on to the something I learned, I. Actually, when I was meditating, of course, because it's hard to meditate the whole time, I was thinking, oh, sorry, I really don't look quite good right now, but hey, this is me. Okay, uh, I was thinking about not having anything to share, and then I thought about uh, the first TM kind of video I did, and it has, it's all about like a word assigned, a word that you focus on. And so the person on that video was saying, if you're this kind of person, this is your word. And so when it got to leader, which is, you know, about wanting to be a leader uh, and inspiring people, that sort of thing, that affirmation was, I am worthy, which I would have never thought because I always thought I had super high confidence and self-esteem and, and want to be a leader. And so I feel like that was being worthy is intrinsic to that. However, I realized a lot of these blocks I have, maybe subconsciously I don't think I'm worthy, but I am worthy to have abundance. I am worthy of success. I am worthy of love. I'm worried of having more money than I know what to do with. I'm worthy of inspiring people. I'm worthy of having or creating art that moves people. 
And so these are all things I am worthy of and I'm worthy of, of all of that. And as in the big leap, they say, I expand in abundant success and love every day while inspiring others to do the same. And that's kind of another mantra that, mantra, mantra, I never know, um, that you can repeat over the day, especially when you're getting caught up in, in kind of the mind. You can just kind of take a deep breath. and say, I expand in abundance, success, and love every day while inspiring others to do the same. So that's that. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to shower now. <laughs>